My name is Pastor Lucy Mwangi. I'm from Kenya. I am so humbled to be in this altar today. It has been my desire, a long time desire, since I was told about Kakande Ministries. And uh, I've been always wanting to come here. The matter that brought me here, I had high blood pressure. So you how are you feeling? I'm feeling light. I'm just fine. I can sleep well. I don't have any complications. I thank God. Another thing, I am so sorry before God because there was a time I had a very good financial breakthrough, but I did not serve God that time. In 2008, my business collapsed, my marriage collapsed, everything went down. And since that time, it's 15 years. Nothing is working. As you rose up to talk, I saw a lady. Yes. She was sitting down, first with the two kids, and then a third child. The lady is a bit brown and a bit tall, not all that short. She was in a bad situation, and she was in need. There is a lesson you should learn. Our work of charity, once it is not recognized in our lives, the page turns the other side. Yes. So you should know what went wrong. Yes. What you were supposed to do, because it came as a test before you. Yes. So, mm, two kids, and then a third one, and you want to be helped? Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 this is too much, no, no, no. So when you are giving charity, you should give with one heart. Yes. Not knowing your future, that you one day you'll be in a need. God brought it as a test before you. Yes. You can know where you went wrong. Yes. And you can count since that time, things went the other way around. I can confirm the prophecy to be true, because during that time I had money. There is this lady who came to me. She had two kids, a boy and a girl. And she's a blonde lady. And I helped her to pay the school fees of his son. He had nothing, and I stood on the gap. I took everything and cleared the whole school fees. I even bought the shopping for the son. I did tax to school, everything. And I remember when I helped her, there is still another child of another friend of mine, and they went and discussed that with that, my friend. So it was like, a, why should you help this and you're not helping my child? And it was like a, a war now. In the process of helping those two ladies with their children, the first one had two and the other one had one, they went and discussed me. And uh, one of them came and told me, like, uh, now you did wrong by helping this person. But I was very angry. Did you continue to help them? No. So your riches also? It means you failed the test. Yes. Why should you complain? Now you want to go back and preach and do whatever? No way. It cannot. Yes. Until when you go back to the test, which you failed, mm. the orphanage, the whatever, that is your big work. Mm. And there's a school around, and the children come around, they have nothing complete to eat, there, and you look at them, instead of helping them... There is a school near where we stay. Special prayer for Pastor Lucy from Kenya, being delivered to do the charity work. Raza, what happened to your marriage? Where's your husband now? He's in Nairobi. You separated? Yes, for 15 years. Is he still with the black lady? Right now he has a short lady black. Because I saw you praying and complaining and say, mm, how can such a man leave a woman like me and get just a dark lady? I'm more beautiful. I would like to confirm the prophecy. In January 13, we went to bury the mother-in-law, the mother to my ex-husband, and now this lady had come. 
And now, the moment I was shown she's the one, I was saying, how can my ex-husband leave me because of such a woman? Do I know you? No. How do I know? That lady, how she took your husband? Yes, it's true. How I you, confirm the prophecy. How you left the medium man? Ah! <laughs> I confirm. Hey, man of God. <laughs> ah, okay. It's exposed now. Okay. The medium man, the fat, short, medium man, well built, was coming from Sierra Leone. He came to Kenya and he wanted to marry me. But now, when we were like courting, I see that. He's not ready to work. He just wants me to provide everything he for him. He had a problem with the documents. Yes. Yes! It's true, man of God. And I confirmed the prophecy because even in the spirit, I dreamt that he come and tell me, now I want you to help even my brother because he had been given short time to live in Kenya. And so in the dream, he even came with the brother, and now he was telling me that I should help him and also help the brother with the documents now. I confirm the prophecy, man of God. You are wondering how I know you. Yes. You said on Saturday, hmm, but this man, does he know me? Yes. Only to say that I'm a pastor, but does he know me? What will he say about me? Okay, yes, I want yes. to go there and see. Yes. Let me see whether he would talk about me. On Saturday, I also want to confirm what was going on in my heart. Because when I came, I was asking myself, now, will the prophet really locate me? Can he really know my situation? Can he really know that I am a divorcee? Can he know that my business failed? Can he know that I want to travel abroad? All these questions were in me. So I would like to confirm the prophecy, it is very true. Those two pastors told me, are you going, are you sure these things are for real? Yes. Okay, you tell us, but uh, did you go, you can go to fuck a things. Mama, we respect you. There were two pastors that I discussed my coming here. I want to confirm the prophecy because it is true, one of them, when I told her, it was like, a, why should you go to Kakande? The second one said, is Kakande for real? And then I said, I know he's for real because I've been watching testimonies. People coming, they are healed. People coming, they have problems, they are solved. I also have to go to Uganda because I am also in need and I need to meet the man of God. Don't worry, the Lord has done it all. But don't bother with traveling abroad because you still have uh, a big responsibility at home. The Lord has blessed you. He will raise you up and the white men will find you in Kenya. Thank you, Jesus. I want to thank but, the man of God. But uh, with the marriage issue, I don't think this tall man as of now will help you because he's not so sincere. You need to take some few months to commit your life to Jesus because this man is not sincere. It is very true. Uh, there is a tall man, he's a widower, and uh, we have been like a, in a relationship but now he cannot go to see my mother. He cannot do anything to introduce himself to the family. He cannot yes, introduce please. me to his children. You're not so sincere. Yes. You are running into another trouble again. Yes, he, he's not sincere at all. Even now, I had already told him that now I don't even want that relationship to continue because that is not how things are done. No, 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 just leave him. Leave it for God. Give it some month. You get a good man to marry you. Amen. Amen. I thank God.